So good morning everyone. As you heard, my name is Bjorn Palm and um, the topic of my speech is, should be up there, the energy efficiency option. So the efficiency option, and I, I see this as an option actually. Uh, and the first question could be, why should we focus on energy efficiency? And of course, everyone knows that the world population is increasing and now, now we are about 6.8 billion, but if we go to 2050, we'd expect to be about 9 billion. And of course, this will put some demands on, on the energy supply or the supply of services which we need. We also know that the energy dis uh, use is very unevenly distributed in the world. And, and we cannot expect the poorer parts of the world to remain poor in, in, indefinitely. We, we will probably see an, an equalization of, of the resources or the use of resources in the world. So if we just compare the average uh, energy use per capita today with that of Europe today, you find there is a factor two in between. And if we compare to the U USA, the, the factor is three or 3.5. So we, we, should, we would need to, to supply almost tri 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 three times as much energy uh, in 2050 to give the world population the energy standard of the average European today. And the conclusion I draw from these figures is that uh, the increasing demand of an increasing world population cannot be sold in a sustainable way just by increasing the energy supply. You also have to make the energy use more efficient. This shows how the energy use has developed since 1990 and we can see that it's increasing and not only increasing but also accelerating. And according to this statistics the increase is about 50% from 1990 to, to 2007. Uh, Samida mentioned another figure, doubled in 27 years. And so, what should we aim at? We should aim at more from less, that's my message here. And what, I'm, what do I mean by that? More what? Well, we should aim at more energy services from less energy environmental footprint. This should be the, the aim of our, our efforts. Um, there has been several reports on this topic and uh, trying to identify how much can be achieved. And one of them is, uh, this, this diagram is taken from one of them. As you can see here from the left, we have 100 units of en prime energy supplied. And from th those 100 units, we can, in the year 2000, as it's written here, uh, supply energy, 100 energy services, if we just uh, take some relative measure here. And according to this uh, investigation, then, well, we get an efficiency, we could say then, 100 services for 100 energy units. But if we go to 2050, according to this investigation, then we should get 165 units of energy services from just 35 units of energy supply. So if we compare these figures, this would give an efficiency compared to today of a factor of seven. So this is a large increase, a large possibility which we have to use our energy in a more sustainable way. Of course, there are a lot of decisions we, we need to take. We have to take the right, right decisions to, to come to this point. And uh, not just uh, go on in the old footsteps, we have to think new. And there is a lot of technology development needed to reach this uh, goal.